Hey, it's Dave here uh, in Texas, and I got a request uh, for me to show some more comics. I showed some a long time ago. Uh, I usually show, uh, you know, music type stuff, but uh, yeah, I'll show some new comics. This is a <clears throat> independent series by Eclipse, uh, art by Bo Hampton. I always liked his artwork, but uh, it's a six issue series and uh, kind of pulpy, which is kind of stuff I like. But, uh, yeah, he draws really nice figures and, uh, you know, he's just overall type artist I like. So, uh, yeah, Lost Planet. Number One Moon Knight, uh, art by Bill Sienkiewicz. Uh, tells about how Moon Knight came to be his origin. As best I can remember, he was kind of a hero for hire, that type thing. But it's been a while since I've read it. <clears throat> Superman. This is uh, issue number 338. But it has Supergirl in it. And uh, this is the Lost, uh, or the Bottled City of Candor in it, which is one of the reasons I picked it up. I was hoping to learn more about this city. I'd always heard about it. But, uh, yeah, the uh, city of Candor. This is just a sort of a random uh, R. Crumb comic that I picked up. A lot of, this, a lot of these contain his sort of uh, autobiographical work, which is the stuff I kind of prefer by him. This is a flaming carrot. Supposedly one of the uh, stranger... Uh, superheroes uh, kind of solves mysteries and stuff like that. Kind of has a punk rock aesthetic and uh, <clears throat> just overall surreal. And uh, supposedly got his origin from reading too many comic books and it's it turned his uh, mind to mush. And uh, he put on this mask here, which that carrot is a mask, and the uh, swimming flippers and uh, started fighting crime. Definitely one of your weirder. Uh, superhero books by Bob Burton uh, who is out of Atlanta but uh, real unusual if you can find one they're worth you know they're fun to read he's weird just like this guy here which is Herbie uh, the Fat Fury and uh, like he's just a, a surreal kind of superhero he's holding Spider-Man and Batman's uh, costumes right there More like 2001. This is an Atlas comic, which is uh, <clears throat> uh, from Marvel. They used to be early Marvel, I believe. And uh, the art is by uh, Michael Flesher, uh, or uh, Al Milgram, I think. And uh, Michael Flesher, I believe, writes it. One of the two. But it's about this giant plant that uh, scientists invented, and they were trying to use it as a uh, weapon but uh, he kind of turns against them. Ne pretty neat little science fiction comic. This is Thor, uh, Kirby and Lee and uh, it's part of a Galactus beginning. This is uh, this one here has some of the uh, Jack Kirby's artwork in it that where he used that collage technique you may have heard about. As you can see here, he was uh, playing around with different uh, techniques and everything. He just collaged this in. But, uh, you know, Stanley does the scripts and uh, so forth. That's another Galactus uh, comic in origin. They kind of teased us, and they weren't like consecutively. This is like 162. This one here is 168. And it has uh, Kirby and Lee, Jack Kirby artwork. 
169 <clears throat> finally we get to hear or hear about Galactus's uh, origin he tells Thor you know who he is and more or less his origin supposedly John Romita drew this little inset here and uh, Kirby did the rest this is uh, issue 200 and it has uh, Jerry uh, Jerry Conway does the scripts and uh, John Basima does the artwork in it and uh, it's sort of a talks a little bit about the Ragnarok as does this one this has got the first appearance of Fire Lord here which became a herald of uh, Galactus and then it's got uh, Hercules in it as well. Again, this is uh, Jerry Conway does the scripts, and uh, John Basima does the uh, artwork. This is a, another. This is a Superman 205 that I found, and uh, this is how does Superman punish the man who destroyed Krypton? and uh, it's got a fifteen dollar price tag on it but uh, I found it at Goodwill for uh, 79 cents so uh was happy to pick it up these are just some fun reads uh, this is Atari Force which was uh, a comic book that they came up with after the uh, gaming module uh, I never was into gaming that that much but I heard that these uh, were fun to read and they're kind of a Star Wars type characters where you have rebels and, and uh, they fight the Empire so you have good guys and bad guys uh, again Jerry Conway <coughs> does the scripts and uh, Jose uh, Luis Garcia Lopez does the uh, artwork which I, I've always really liked his artwork that's number one then number two and number three if you go online I used to have a link to it if I can find the link again I'll put it up but there's a sequel to these uh, <clears throat> online and they they came out with these little comics that they put in their gaming uh, modules that you could buy Atari did and it tells about the origin of how all this got started and if I can find them again I'll put them up there they're a pretty neat little origin this is uh, Into Shambhala it's a Doctor Strange graphic novel uh, I, I bought it because I really like the art inside uh, uh, the uh, story is done by J.M. De Mateus and uh, Dan Green <coughs> does the artwork and it's a, just about Doctor Strange going try, trying to solve a mystery but um, I really like the uh, artwork in it kind of a watercolor type artwork you know he's going back to uh, Tibet in the Himalayas where he first met his uh, mentor and uh, of course his mentor is dead but uh, he has a, a gift of a box that he has been given and uh, the way it's written is kind of elusive in some ways but um, real interesting the way it's, it's sort of uh, <clears throat> done I think De Mateus was always kind of wrote these kind of elusive tales but uh, you know it, it meshes well with the artwork I think these this BPRD are uh, short stories from uh, Mike McNola's they come out of the uh, Hellboy series and uh, the name name of them are the Bureau of Paranormal Paranormal Research and Defense, 
and uh, again uh, Magnola has was really inspired by Kirby and you can kind of tell it in his artwork but uh, yeah I like Cowboy and I like, I like these comics too they're real interesting then I picked up this door uh, tour excuse me it's a prehistoric odyssey by Joe Kubert Kubert and uh, I like Joe Kubert's uh, artwork and this is he's kind of a prehistoric character these these uh, there's three issues in here I believe and uh, the first issue came out in an oversized uh, comic book sort of prehistoric character like I was saying and uh, just kind of an adventure story but uh, yeah I always really liked uh, Joe Kubrick's artwork and I had the I had the first oversized issue so I kind of wanted to get these and and uh, read how it you know how it ends ends on it but uh, yeah I was always really into uh, Joe Kubrick so anyway that's what I got here lately and uh, just wanted to come on here and, and show some of my comics and uh, hope everybody's being well and safe and uh, enjoying their new year